not going to take them out to fight that mini boss yet because they're nowhere near ready. But we can go out and gather some materials at least. Try to find some salty fruit, which is what that daily quest wants. Plus just going out gathering materials gives your the human character experience so he can level up and you can get certain items and things more easily. It makes it easier to play through. Uh good question. I have no clue if he does. I don't know if I have spirits in this game or not. I don't recall them there being spirits. Uh, do I want to fight? Yeah, let's just... I should be able to fight this now. Oh damn, we're not doing anything, okay. Okay, so I don't even have the story yet, so actually going out and fighting may be a bad idea right now. Because if we can't fight these Numamon yet, there's no way we're going to actually be able to handle the really good EXP drop area for the beginning of the game. Are you kidding me? I don't even have enough to buy items yet. Tomorrow's session is... Okay. I, I have concerns about it. That's that's all I'm going to say. Not on your you end, go. just... Um, I know how the party's been playing so far, and... Sometimes I can go a little bit murder hobo. Uh, I, I have for the most part. Um, last session they ended up in a combat scenario. They were in a temple. And they were fighting a shark folk. And the shark folk was standing in the doorway. Nice call. So I was trying to limit how they could fight this dude because again they just snuck into a temple for some reason. Well, they had plot reasons. But, um... They ended up just slamming the door in the shark folk's face and ending the combat scenario, which was a nice change. And, uh, it just killed us all, like, laughing. That encounter ended up in them genociding an entire. I I, I don't want to talk about it on Twitch.
Um, well, you see, um, the shark folk didn't like a race of humanoid ducks called the Durls, and the shark folk that he bullied basically took them to their leader and asked them to help them get rid of them all. And the party kind of agreed. So... There wasn't really a reason to punish them for it. Because it made sense for the store. Well, I gave them the option of who to side with and that's who they chose. set already? Some of the rolls are still alive, thankfully. So, like, if someone wanted to make a character of them, like, after... Ready? I keep pressing the wrong button. After, like, their current character died or something, they're fine to do it. Yeah, I've got the salty fruit, I've got the apple... Oh, I've got everything for Palmon. But no, they got like really good items for... What they did. I mean, what they did was terrible, terrible. It was terrible thing to do, but they got some really good, like, weapons and things. Okay, so now I can get some more meat. Or does that let me get big meat? I don't remember. That sounds so wrong out of context. <laughs> that sounds so wrong out of context. So, the other party members actually aren't on World Anvil. We tried to use World Anvil for the actual, like, character sheets and everything. But, we... They couldn't figure out how to get it to work. So, we just decided that they would handle their own character sheets, and I would just trust them as far as that goes. Um, but I, I can give you, like, all the information you need. Um... Made my day. Made my day. Oh yeah, I forgot the player only levels up when you come back here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. This way they slowly get better stats. Um... Oh, if you have any of your questions, you can just send them to me now, dude. I can try to answer the best I can. So far, it hasn't been that big of a deal. The only issue I've had thus far was Dylan didn't tell me about a coin he had on his character, and that coin was broken as fuck. I gotcha. Which, I wish you would have told me about that damn coin. Because, like, I told them from the beginning, homebrew stuff, you gotta let me look at. This way I can approve it and see if it fits the setting before. And, and... Dylan decided not to fucking tell me. So we get into, like, a... What's supposed to be a super tense situation. And Dylan's just like, I have this coin. And... I don't even remember what the fuck the coin does. But it was something broken.
Which is why Dylan is now a duck until he can join another session. Players has a sword that on initial swing it doesn't have to make contact or anything. Um, it summons one D D four of ducks, and as long as Dylan's a duck, he has like one to that to represent Dylan's character. Um, like I said, I kind of also just kind of adapted hey. the lore of the world to around the players a little bit, but That's wrong. I can adapt as I go. Last session was almost a pseudo reboot, introducing new. It wasn't a reboot, reboot, but it introduced some new races and things. Because we haven't done it in about a month because people's schedules are just misaligned. I I don't even know what Moonbeam is, man. Um. But yeah, we can go over it when we talk because I'm not that big of a stickler on things. I mean, yeah, you can make your own backstory, I'm not gonna do that. Just the way your character's race would play in is kinda interesting. I'm not gonna make you fight against what you want your character to do, dude. It just makes an interesting roleplay dynamic, if you get what I mean. Okay, I apologize if that caused any lag for you guys. Um, just covering some bases of what needs to be covered for D&D tomorrow. And we'll load back up in here. Okay, now. Do I have any bandages left? I do not. Crap, crap, crap. Does this dude sell them yet? Oh, crap, I actually gotta go out. Bandages are 800. Over here! Let's run back to town, sell a bunch of stuff, and see if I can get enough to buy two bandages. Um, I didn't realize they were 800. Okay now. Okay, now that we've got that taken care of, let's take a look at the histories. I know. But I don't know them, if that makes sense. I'm gonna work on while we go through the first couple life cycles here, just leveling up the tamer. Um Yeah, that's probably the most important thing besides so getting these guys raised up. All right. 
Ready? <laughs> You're getting stronger. A little wisdom here. Stay focused. Okay, here we go. Okay, gather up. You can't do that. Time to say good night. Ready? Ready to eat? It's chow time. Okay, yeah, their bonds with the tamer is fine, but their bond between each other is not great. And they're not at full HP either, that's really bad. Um... Okay! No, I kinda wanna see if we can take on this... ...guy up here. We probably can't... But I'm going to attempt... Hello! What's up? I'm a moron. Why did I attempt? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought the one's HP was high enough. Now I gotta go buy band aids again. Fuck. Do I even have enough? No, I don't even have enough for one band aid. Let's get the meats. I'll sell probably a bunch of meat and stuff to try to get that money. I can just sell one of these. I do want to make... Well, we're not ready to make any sort of, like, real hey. progress progress. Clearly, by what I've been doing, but um, we'll go back down here because it's good for money. As long as I'm paying attention to what the fuck I'm doing. Watch carefully. You did it. Keep it up. Good hit. It's behind this cave here where the good training session is. Don't really remember. I know what is good to fight, I just don't remember where they're at. Look 
looking good. Yeah! You did it just like that. Good hit. I'm getting real tired of these guys just getting injured left, right, and center. Probably gonna download this VOD and just run it down for a video. And then maybe, I don't know, upload the VOD. I already got the meats, so... I don't have Numum on yet, so I don't get the free toilets. Still another stamina chip. That's enough for two bandages. because we've been going for about two hours now as so I'm gonna go back to the town um, and probably call it there. Um, I guess I can think of something else that I want to do today. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next stream.